Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Mossberg MC2 subcompact double stack mag 9mm pistol that has become so popular. A lot of people love those and Mossberg jumped into that game with this model and I think they did a very nice job. Comes with a 14 and an 11 round magazine MSRP. 556. They introduced it October 25th, 2021, and I think it's going to be a very popular model from Mossberg. You know, when they put came out with the MC1 subcompact, it it was like lit the world on fire. People were like, what the heck is this? Since then, they came out with the MC2 compact with a 3.9 inch barrel, and now the MC2 subcompact. I like the Stippling patches throughout the grip all around a little bit different, but it does feel nice You put this 14 round mag in here and it has a very nice ergonomic feel to it And of course the 11 round mag offers two finger contact But it does carry a little bit shorter for those who want want that that type of style We'll go ahead and show clear this is loaded because I'll be throwing it on the scale shortly, but I did mention 3.4 inch barrel. I like the way the mag release is flush with the frame. It does have that piece there. You just kind of slide up there. Real nice deployment with the mags. Front serrations, rear serrations with the angled line through it. That's pretty cool. Optic ready. Three dot sights. Metal three dot sights that are drift adjustable. And a trigger that is a flat trigger breaks at five and a half pounds. And we'll show that. I, I, I always like the trigger on the MC1 subcompact. And it doesn't seem like they changed it at all, which is a good thing. Right there, tactical reset, you can hear it. That is, that is actually very important to a lot of people. They, they want to hear that reset. And so you will with, with this handgun. The disassemble is a bit different. It's the same as the MC1 subcompact. You're going to lock the slide back and take this back plate off just by pushing in and down. And off comes the back plate. Mossberg calls it extremely safe. You don't have to pull the trigger or anything like that. Then just release the slide, pull the striker assembly out, and off comes the frame from the slide just like that glass filled nylon polymer polymer glass filled nylon you know a lot of companies are going with that glass filled thing and then we have the all steel guide rod dual recoil spring and the 3.4 inch barrel a little different disassembly it is a safe disassembly there's no Question about that, you, you essentially render the gun useless by taking out that uh, striker assembly. But it, it's a, another step or two more that, you know, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But that's what they have. You lock the slide back and put the striker assembly back in there. And then put this back plate back on. Let's see if I can get that on. This is actually pretty tight being a brand new gun which is not too unusual but there we go and there it is the mc2 subcompact let's get it on the scale oh by the way if you go with this it comes in this cardboard case with the two mags the lock mossberg gives you this rubber piece wraps around the grip right so some people actually shoot with that they, they consider it kind of Nice on the hand when shooting. And it kind of comes gift wrapped in under here, under this plastic here. Interesting look there. And I haven't, haven't seen that before, but pretty cool. No downside to it. We'll throw the scale, get the scale going here. The 14 round mag unloaded. You're looking at one pound, four and seven eighths ounces, just ounces, 20 and three quarters. But if we go with the 11 round loaded mag, we will see 24 and three quarters and you throw that carry around in 25 and a quarter ounces so it's right there with many of its competitors in the double stack nine millimeter handgun market you know right in the mid 20 ounces is pretty much 
where they are aligning on the scale. Let's go ahead, we'll throw the 11 round mag here and compare it with the Springfield Armory Hellcat. All right, a little bit of a shorter barrel. We'll see that here when we look at the slide length. The MC2 SC goes a little bit longer, about three quarters of an inch, which makes sense. But the, the grip length and width is approximately the same. All right, so if you're familiar with the Hellcat, you'll enjoy the grip with the MC2 subcompact. And the 14 round mag is pretty nice. And I think, I think Mossberg priced it right. 556 MSRP. If you like the safety model, you can have the safety right there. This is the non-safety model. It does have the trigger bar safety in there, but no lever there that you would push forward to release that safety. The magazine release, there he mentioned, sits flush, nice deployment there. It is reversible, making it left-handed friendly. Some people, well, lefties would like that. But overall, I think it's a good looking gun. I think the, well, I know the Mossberg MC1 subcompact shot really nice. You know, I remember I had, I, you know, I ran a lot of load through that, every kind, steel cases and hollow points and 124 NATO loads and everything else. And it worked really well. I expect no different from this. The 14 round mag sure does feel nice. 15 round capacity with 3.4 inch barrel is pretty attractive to a lot of guys or just use it as a spag, spare mag. The user will decide but this will be another one on the market very soon. Hopefully, right around 500 bucks. I think that would be a nice deal for a quality mag, quality made handgun made by a very reputable company called Mossberg. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.